Hello and welcome. My name is John Bevier. I represent Cambridge Audio and we're here to, uh, creating an exclusive video uh, for your enjoyment from Audio Advisor. Today we're going to give you a little bit of information of a new product that Cambridge is producing uh, called the NP30, Network Player 30. If you have any familiarity with the rest of the Cambridge line, first off you'll notice that the chassis is built on the Sonata range, so it's a perfect fit for an AR30, CD30, DVD30 combination. Uh, and this is really a, a forward-looking, in a sense, next uh, 21st century product. Uh, first and foremost, there are four functions that this device does. First and foremost, it's a 24-bit native player. It's got very advanced 2496 upsampling DACs, meaning if you download any high-quality 24-bit uh, files and store them on your computer, you can ac access that in full 24-bit frequency. Very important if you've never experienced 24-bit compared to the uh, uh, original 16-bit uh, CD Redbook from Sony, this is a huge leap in sonic performance. So right off the bat, I'll reinforce this as a 24-bit native player. In addition, you'll notice in the back there's a little antenna uh, this is a wireless uh, device that uh, is based on uh, Wi-Fi 802.11n, uh, which has the technical ability to do uh, native 24-bit wireless streaming. Uh, in addition, you can connect this to a network using an RG45 connection, uh, connection in an Ethernet cable, uh, linking your uh, NP30 to the larger Internet. Uh, and when you do make that link, uh, using a proprietary uh, uh, internet streaming service called Uvol, U-U-V-O-L. Uh, this is a non-subscription based secure extranet that gives you the ability to uh, uh, join into 20,000 pre-vetted internet radio stations that you can sort by country, by genre, by style, uh, even uh, um, uh, packet density for audiophiles that want the very best internet radio. So now I've got the ability for 24-bit native file, I can go out and enjoy internet radio stations from all over the world, sort of like uh, older-fashioned shortwave radio. Uh, the third functionality in this is this is a UPNP, Universal Plug and Play Player. It will look out into your network and see any NAS drive, uh, any hard drive, any laptop, any computer, uh, and will automatically burrow down into your file directory systems, including iTunes, without iTunes being uh, turned on, and will discover discover your music that you've downloaded onto your computer and access all the metadata on that from uh, cover art to titles to genre, any way you want to sort it, including your pre-made uh, lists, uh, playlists. Uh, the next function is this, is local media. You've got a USB input on the front and another USB input on the back in case you have found music somewhere and put it on a thumb drive, you can access that directly. Um, Lastly, you can do podcasts, uh, so if you've got any NPR favorite or uh, alternative music favorite uh, podcasts, you can access those. Uh, a very, very exciting uh, product that also comes with remote control based on the whole Azure series, so it's a unified remote control. So in addition to two different finishes, uh, silver as well as black, uh, please notice that your display is four lines deep. Most network players, streaming devices, uh, have one line or possibly two lines. This gives you a great deal of information uh, right at your fingertips. Um, in, in addition to the secure extranet, you can create your own custom-made playlists on that extranet uh, site. And uh, there's no limit to the number of NP30s that you can link together. If you'd like to have one at your summer cottage or winter cottage, as well as one in the living room, the kitchen, the kids' gaming room, uh, these will all talk to one another. And any changes that you make out on the extranet uh, being accessed by your computer will be shown in the NP30. Any changes that you make in the NP30 will be reconfigured and shown up in your extranet uh, site that you access through your computer. So connectivity on the back. You'll notice you have your analog right-left outputs, but in addition, you have digital outputs. There's a speedif out and a toslink out. Now, why might you want to do that? This has a native 24-bit 96K upsampling DAC, but let's say you wanted an even better performance where you have native 24192 upsampling files. Uh, you could hook the digital output into, say, the Cambridge Audio DAC Magic and achieve even better performance or even go into our very best DAC uh, that's found in the Cambridge 840C. Uh, that would give you 24386 upsampling. 
In addition, as I mentioned earlier, we have the second USB output. Here is your Wi-Fi 802.11n antenna. Uh, over here is your on-off, your power. And then lastly, you have two remaining. This is an Ethernet connection for a wired system. And then here's a trigger uh, so that all you have to do is turn on your main uh, AVR receiver or integrated uh, or, say, the Sonata uh, AR30, and this will automatically power up. So controllability is done by one of three fashions. We have made a custom free downloadable iPod, iTunes, iPhone, iPad uh, application. Uh, also gives you all your metadata. In addition, you have got eight buttons here that gives you a variety of ways of drilling into the submenus as well as the remote control feature. So you really have multiple ways of, of gaining access uh, to this device. I mentioned earlier 24-bit, I mentioned the Uval Internet Streaming, uh, I entered, uh, mentioned UPnP local uh, media device, U uh, USB ability. Um, the last area in which you can use is streaming services like Rhapsody or Pandora. If you have an account with either of those services, uh, this machine will reach out and make connection uh, and you have more of a two-way interaction uh, with your content, uh, a very important aspect to this product. Uh, this has been John Bevier uh, from Audio Plus Services and Cambridge Audio with an exclusive video uh, produced by Audio Advisor. Thank you so much. Produced <laughs>